Welcome to this simulation. We will be working in the exercise number one of rack for rice equation. So this is the exercise. I'm going to remind it for you just to have the insight of the problem. We have a hydrocarbon stream, ethane, butane, pentane, and hexanes. The following composition 20, 20, 20, and 40% respectively. We have a temperature and we have a pressure. What mole fraction of the feed is vaporized? So essentially, this will be phi, which states how much paper versus feed is given, and the composition of the paper. So that's also interesting. And the most important part that I want to do is let's compare if we get similar results using a process simulator versus our handwritten calculations, which of course they are not handwritten, they are in Excel, but you know already guys that the first iteration we assume 0.5 rapidly we get the value of the function given phi then the the derivative of such function calculate the new phi verify error if we if we cannot accept we repeat this until we get to a final result remember that for this exercise we got 75 percent was vapor and these are the following compositions let's see if we get something similar Okay, let's go. I'm going to start with ethane, iso, butane. What else do we have? And pentane. Pentane and hexane. Great. Secondly, we'll be selecting a package. You can start with ideal, but k values obtained are actually not, not ideal, so I will not go for that road. Okay, we'll run the simulation. So we load all the binary interactions between ethane, isobutane, and so on. Then we go to the simulation environment. I will be adding this stream. I want the separator. I want a heat exchanger just to play with in case we need it. This vapor, liquid. And here it goes. Initial feed, feed one, hit X, this is the flash, this is the vapor, and this is the liquid line. Okay, so the composition was about. Okay, this is the tricky part. I'm going to assume this is at 100 Celsius, 600 kilopascals. Since there is no basis, and before we select the 100 kilomole per hour, I'm going to select that. Small fractions, we do know them. Total addition of one. Here we'll be working at 100 Celsius and 600 bar, sorry, kilo, kilopascal. What else do we have here? The flash drum. Heat duty will be equal to zero, so this is adiabatic and 600 kilopascals we run the simulation okay and okay i'm going to be adding the vapor fraction of the streams temperatures doesn't make that much sense mole fractions sorry mole flow rates will be making a lot of sense so the first thing i can see is that i get 78 in this part we have 75 so calculations on the software will be that let me go back that this is pretty similar to that of 78 percent of vapor compared to the 75 almost 76 percent of vapor so i think for the iterations for using k values actually the k values i will say that this is the hardest part reading k values so that maybe this two percent is just because of the k values maybe not of of the process percent and actually you have it here 78 percent vapor will be separated here okay what else we want to verify stream results let's verify the vapor compositions here it goes technically here it goes and actually, if we see this, it's 77.7, .7, so it's even smaller, 
versus 75.97 is about 1.6%. I would say it's, it's a good way to calculate this. The vapor composition is 25% for ethane, good enough. 23% for isobutane, good enough. 19% for pentane, good enough. And the leftover 30, actually this is the largest deviation, 31% versus 30%. If we go to the liquid, it's 2%, 2.3, well, it's okay, 8.7, okay, 20 and 68, okay. So great. I also want to verify the K values, and there is a quick way to do this. We need to go to the results of the flash drum. We go to phase equilibrium, and we will have these K values. Okay, so these were the K values I read from the diagram. Let's see how far away we are. Okay, so we got 10.88, which should be something around here, I think 8.10.88. Okay, so yeah, there's a strong deviation there. Isobutane 2.67. Isobutane goes here. 2.67. 2.80 well i will say this is the correct rating so yeah technically the diagram could be incorrect make no worries or the calculations here are not correct so that's up to you as the engineer to verify whether the k calculated by aspen plus are correct or whether the k values in the k chart or the pistol chart are incorrect Continuing, pentane is 95 red, 98 calculated, good enough, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, okay. So I would say maybe the one that deviates stronger is that of ethane. Anyways, I will say that this is an accepted value. What else do we need to do in the simulation? Okay, we verify the vapor, liquid, and feed fee values, streams, we also verify uh, K values, we also verify compositions in the vapor and liquid streams. They want us to calculate or use in the physical property environment a PT curve, so let's do it. PT envelope, just for the sake of this stream, we've got 20, 20, 20 for, a, for an analysis. Okay, so apparently, let us set up, where are we? So we are at a pressure of 600 kilopascals, which is about mm, six atmospheres, which is about uh, six bars. So we are around here, around here, yeah, 100. And of course, it needs to be here because this is a 100 mark because we are operating at 100 Celsius. So that's not a coincidence, of course, because we are using the same system. We will start seeing some droplets here. And also, if you were to, if we go all the way, let me actually do it here. So we got all the way 100, but now we have a higher pressure. So uh, this pressure makes no sense, meaning that we are in between vapor liquid, 75% vapor. This is nearest to this part. Let's see here. What else do we need? Okay, effect of temperature in vapor. So let's do it. I want to change maybe the temperature. Temperature two. What will happen if we decrease this to, actually let's do it for the, pre the pressure. Now let's do this 120 Celsius. Next, okay. As you can see here, all goes to the vapor phase. So let me go and add 95. We should get more liquid. 66%, as you can see here. Okay, that's great. And instead of me doing this, there is a tool known as the sensitivity analysis. Let me find it here. The analysis tool, sensitivity, new sensitivity analysis. 
What I want to change is the temperature of the heater and I want to see, okay, what, what are we going to vary? It's going to be a block variable here of the heater. The variable is the temperature, no, temperature, temperature, okay, specify temperature in Celsius. So I wanted to change it from, I don't know, let's start with 80 Celsius all the way to 120 Celsius. Okay, how many points? Well, I don't know, 40 points. 41 points. Yeah, here you go, 1 Celsius. And we want to define the... What do we want to define? No. This is the interesting part. What do we want to see? The vapor fraction or the flow rate? Mm, okay, I will, I will go for vapor fraction. Pap. Pap. Frac. So here it goes, it will be a stream variable. Say stream variable, yeah. It's vapor variable and I want to check out the vapor fraction. Okay, so I was making a mistake, sorry, about the video being short, but we need to, okay, vapor fraction of the vapor, of course, it's going to be always one. So we want to change this stream for F1, which will be showing us the actual vapor fraction after the stream has been heated up. And what we want to tabulate, let me clean this up. Field variables, yes. Actually, let me just, Ensure that this is correct, field variables, and run the simulation. Hopefully now it makes sense, sensitivity analysis. Let's go to the results. And we have a very interesting thing right here. So this is the temperature, how the temperature increases. Let me, results curve. Okay, what I want to do is, y axis, okay. So I want to show single axis. Okay. No, this is not what I want. This is increasing temperature. Okay. I want to remove the temperature. Okay. Vapor fraction. I want to delete. No, that's what I want. I want to delete this axis. Okay, no, it's not working. Anyways, what we want to do is, let's go here. This is a better one. You can see this is the vapor fraction, how the temperature increases. So it's kind of tricky here, guys. You want to read. And there's an interesting part. It, it apparently goes all the way straight and it suddenly goes a little bit curvy. It starts deviate versus the straight line until you eventually achieve 100% of the uh, purity here. So it's very interesting, at 108 Celsius, we have one uh, in the vapor phase, meaning that the after 108 Celsius, we are going to have full vapor, and that's what I want to show you guys when we use the 110, is because it's fully saturated. So actually our minimum or maximum operation will be 108, our minimum operation can be even below 80. So actually, let's verify for that. Okay, start from zero. Increment of one. Okay. Let's run the simulation. Let's see if we have some liquids. Okay, now it's even better. We got the temperature. The minimum temperature at which we should work is about, show me the tracker. It's about 16 Celsius. So 16 Celsius will be the minimum. 
and I want you to analyze why do we have a straight line all the way to 70 Celsius and suddenly it becomes a curve until we'll get to this last point. So this way, that's up to you guys. I just wanted to show you how it works. And we weren't that far away. This is the spreadsheet we were working with exercise number one. These are the compositions. These are the phi values and these are the K values. Remember, we are not that far away. So I'm glad you were here to watch how we use Aspen Plus to verify our engineering calculations in spreadsheet or even by hand.